Hello, my name is Mimi, and today I'm going to read a book called Swimming with Dolphins. Chapter 1. The dolphin jumped high out of the water. Wow, said Rosie. Can we swim with it? No, I'm sorry, said Dan Miller. A scientist who worked with dolphins, Grandpa Ben, Rosie, and Alex were visiting Dan. Years ago, he was one of Grandpa's students. All dolphins have have had injuries, Dan explained. We help them to go out to the sea again when they are ready. Before we send a dolphin out to sea, we put a small radio on its fins, explained Dan. When we can follow it on the computer. Come and see. Grandpa and the children went with Dan to an office. In the office, a scientist was sitting in front of a computer. She turned in her chair and said, Dan, come and look at this. There's a problem with Ludo. Who's Ludo? asked Alex. Ludo is a young dolphin that we've looked after for a long time, said Dan. We sent him back to the sea a few days ago. He looked at the computer unhappily. What's the problem? asked Grandpa. Ludo has been under the water for 20 minutes, said Dan. He isn't moving. Can't dolphins stay underwater for a long time? asked Ben. Yes. But dolphins aren't fish. They breathe air, so they have to come up to breathe after 30 or 40 minutes, said Dan. Ludo needs help. There isn't enough time to reach him in the boat, said the scientist at the, at the computer. That's okay, said Grandpa. My van is outside. It's much faster than a boat. Come on. They all went quickly to the door. Chapter 2. Where Clunk drove, Dan got his diving equipment already. Ludo was a little afraid, so he stayed close to the shore. Dan explained, perhaps he, perhaps he can't move because of a fishing line. He looked at his watch. When will we arrive there? We're there now, said Clunk. The children looked out the window at the blue sky all around them. Please land on water, Ben told the robot. But there was a problem. The sea wasn't very deep, the, and Clunk didn't see the rock under the water. Clash! There was a terrible sound as the van hit one of the rock. Water is coming to the van, shouted Ben. Grandpa jumped up. Clunk gets the tools, please, he said. We have to fix this quickly. While Grandpa tried to fix the van, Clunk used a bucket to throw at the water. While we are doing this, you can dive into the water to help the dolphin, Dan, said Grandpa. But Dan didn't answer. He hits his head when the van hit the rock, said Ben. Rosie jumped up. What are you doing? Ben asked. His little sister was putting some of the diving equipment. I'm the best swimmer and I know how to dive, Rosie said quickly. Rosie, wait! said began Alex. Ludo needs our help now, said Rosie. Ben, can you look after Dan? I'm going to help Ludo. She put the diving mask over her face and jumped into the water. Ben was sitting with Dan. The scientist opened his eye and put one hand to his head. What happened? He asked. Then he looked around. Why is there water inside the van? And where's Rosie? Chapter 3. Ben tried to explain. Rosie dived into the water to help Ludo. He said he needs help quickly. Dan looked very afraid. I've dived here often, she, he said. It can be very dangerous. Why? asked Alex. There are sharks here, said Dan. For the first time, Grandpa looked up from his work. In the water, 
Rosie was swimming down. She was a strong str- swimmer and he loved being in the sea. But this time, she did not stop for a look at any of the fish as they swam past her. She saw a large shape crop close to the sea floor. It was Ludo. The dolphin was moving his tail up and down, but he could not swim away. Then she was close enough. Rosie saw the problem. There was an old fishing line around Ludo's body. One at the end of the line was around the rocks of the seafloor. Ro- Rosie tried to break the fishing line, but it was too strong. Carefully, she started to take the fishing line off the dolphin. Ludo stopped knocking his tail. He understands, thought Rosie. He's trying to help me. At last, Rosie pulled away the fishing line. Ludo could swim again. Rosie watched happily as the dolphin kicked his tail and swam up to get some air. Rosie began to swim up too. Then she saw a large shape in the water. What's Ludo doing now? She thought, but the shape wasn't Ludo. It wasn't a dolphin. It was a shark. Chapter 4 on the van, Dan was looking for more diving equipment. Can we take the van under the water? Asked Alex. No, until it fixes, said Grandpa. Ben was watching the water nervously. Suddenly, a head came up out of the water. There's Rosie, Ben shouted. Rosie started to swim to the van. What's that in the water behind her? Asked Alex. It isn't Ludo. Asked Ben. No, said Dan. That's a shark's fin. A big one, Rosie shouted. Help! Swim faster! Rosie swam as fast as she could, but she couldn't swim faster than a shark. As she knew it, the shark was coming closer and closer. Dan got ready to jump in. He had to help Rosie. But how? He didn't know. He, but he had to try. For Dan dived in, a gray head came out of the water next to Rosie. It was Ludo. The dolphin was here to help her. Rosie put both hands around the dolphin's fin. Go! She shouted. Ludo kicked his tail and started swimming to the van. It wasn't easy, but Rosie held onto the fin. Swim, Ludo, shouted Rex, shouted Dan. You can do it, Ben turned and said. Grandpa, can we move the van closer? Is it ready yet? Grandpa was too busy to look up. In one minute, he answered. But did, did Rosie have one minute? The shark could swim faster than Ludo. It was behind Rosie and the dolphin, and it was coming closer and closer. Chapter 5 Suddenly, Ludo dived under the water. Rosie tried to hold his onto his fin, but she couldn't. She saw an, another gray shape in the water. It was the shark. More gray shapes swam past her. What's happening? Four or five new dolphins were here. One swam and hit the shark with its nose. Another dolphin did the same things. Did the in the van, Dan was watching it all. The shark is swimming away, he said. Clung to help Rosie to get out of the water. Rosie, we were very frightened, said Alex. I was frightened too, said Rosie. But Ludo and the other dolphin were fantastic. What's that in your hand, Rosie? As Alex, Rosie looked down. It's the radio that was on Ludo's fin. She said, he turned to Dan. I'm sorry, it broke when Ludo was pulling me in the water. That's okay, said Dan, pointing to Ludo, who was swimming close to the van. He's smiling, said Ben. The children could see the other dolphin in the water, too. I was following Ludo 
with the radio because he hasn't lived in the sea for a long time. Said Dan, he didn't have any friend. Dan smiled, but he has friend now. Ludo came up high at the, the of the water. He's saying goodbye. Said Alex, goodbye, Ludo. Said Dan. They watched as Ludo and his new dolphin friend turned and swam out together to the deeper water. That's the end of the story. The lovely ending, and I hope you like it. Don't forget to subscribe my channel.